Listen, I'm a soft man, bro. I'll let you know right now. Uh, if you check my Twitter, I was like listening to Sham Forever, like right before I took my shower. But I was figuring out what song I wanted to play right now. And I went with this song because this is actually my favorite Monster X song now. I was in the shower listening to Shine Forever and some Monster X song, trying to get myself in the mood. It's for jealousy right now. And I realized, because now I do this thing where I like just play a song of the group that I'm about to check out or maybe of the label. So you might hear some sister sometimes in a Monster X related video. Um, but I have like found out that this is actually my favorite Monster X song, White Love. I love this song so much, y'all. I'm, I'm just some soft and squishy person, but I love this song. And Shine Forever was my favorite song for a very long time. Like actually like my favorite song to listen to at any point in the day. But this song has like taken over my like monster, my love for Monster X. You know, I like, first of all, Juhans, will you hear this? Bro, come on now. The bias is singing like an angel. Let it go. So we're going to check out Jealousy. But first, what we're going to check out is film. The, oh, not film. It's called The Film. It's like a pre thing that they put out. And I was actually going to check it out when it first dropped. But I went to it and it wasn't subbed. So I like skimmed through it without pausing it just to hear if it was like a song or something like a like a pre-release track for the album and it wasn't it was just uh, like kind of like a mini documentary about it I believe that's what it is I still don't know because I just clicked through it but all I know is that I noticed that it wasn't a music video so there was no point for me to watch it if it wasn't subbed because I wasn't gonna understand what was being said so now that it's subbed and it's actually been subbed for a few days I'm gonna check it out and right after we're gonna go right into jealousy I wanna love your heart alright so this is oh that's loud. Hold on. We good though, we good. Alright. Kinda also wanna see like what hairstyles they went with for this comeback. Oh boy, Minhyuk is like blonde. So is Juhan. Part she one the code. Kim Slave of Destiny is tangled in like a yarn. In the fence of wander. Oh the boy's a redhead! I am lost. Ooh. Just came out the shower and I didn't put any bliss decks on, bro. <laughs> One, oh! I want to know, like, Cause I was under the impression, cause I was I've been following it like all on Twitter and everything. But I'm not sure I got it yet. But is it still like the whole time? Oh, it looks like it's the time thing. And also, it was like I saw the like tag deja vu being tagged to everything. But I don't really know what it was about. But obviously with Drama Rama, it was about time travel, trying to change things and fix things, and then people that were supposed to watch for the people who try and do that stuff stop them from doing it. And just put them back where they were when they first tried it. I believe. What's happening? Finding the road. Oh, oh, I'm in the middle of the soul of those. Do, do, do that again, I am. Come on. Hold on. Let's raise this a little bit. Oh. What track is this, bro? Yeah. What is that from, bro? Monster X, bro. It's my first Monster X comeback, bro. I'm in here. Destroyer. I feel like I heard this before. Destroyer. Or maybe like a clip of it? I think it was like a fan made music video I clicked on. But I didn't see the whole thing. I think someone like recreated what it would be like the entirety like just in case this is like part of it they like thought like I guess maybe they produced like their own version of like an extended version of it 
So is Destroyer like a track on uh, the new album? So they're definitely keeping the whole sci-fi stuff. Connected. Oh my god. I love when artists like are aware because sometimes some uh, choruses can get repetitive you know like if they just kept saying destroyer 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 and then like intervene with like different lyrics like this it could get very repetitive so it's like you like the song you like some of the chorus then you like kind of tone out a little bit and then wait for like the next verse and I love when like they're aware and they do shit the right way bro I love that I just sound like a WWE theme track. <laughs> Alright, so that was dope. We about to get right into Jealousy. There's lyrics. Lyrics are on the screen. We about to get all up in here. I don't know. Well, you know what? It's Monster X. I know the vibe. So I'm going to change the, the lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that part from the teaser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that shit rhymed even in English. My voice showed it, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is a sexy track, bro. Yeah, this is a sexy track. They hit you with the whispering, too, bro. They hit you with the whispering. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> they hit you with the whispering. <laughs> Hey, he said, fly with me, my boy. I still fucked with that song. Oh, he said, wait, 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 wait. I like how they, I like how they did that. Why are you talking about show dude now? I like, I want to know if there's like some meaning behind this song, but I like how they like reference some of the members, like in like the story they're trying to like portray with the song. Like what they're trying, like what they're trying to deliver. Like they use one of the members and their actual name and everything. Oh yeah. They're gonna keep alternate. Yeah. I like when rappers alternate like that, bro. Like they're going at each other or having a conversation. This is sexy, bro. I can't wait. I don't know if it's out yet, but I can't wait till there's a dance video for this. I want to see it. I mess with this, bro. Then again, I mess with Master X. I'm be saying jealousy, I'm jealous. 
Baby jealousy. Baby jealousy. Baby jealousy. Baby jealousy. Baby jealousy. Baby jealousy. It was that was such a sexy track. Like it was just like it wasn't like hard hitting Master X, right? It wasn't like Drama Rama Master X. It wasn't like that hard, but it was still like the uh, electric EDM type vibe. But it wasn't like over the top. I like that. And I'm gonna be whispering jealousy, baby jealousy, all the time now. By the way, I watched No Mercy. I actually watched the entire thing. I did it for Icon and Winner. Uh, with like a uh, win and mix and match. I actually watched all of No Mercy and that show I say I say it was That was a messed up show bro. Like it's like it's messed up in a sense that you get so connected with the members, you know Even the guys that got eliminated like uh, Mino's cousin. Um, that's that gun Like it was just hard to watch and I know he actually has a, a song on his own. He's, he's on the Starship as well I think like I can see how people that watch those shows when they're actually live um, so that they can be involved with the voting process and everything Get so invested, you know It's so different than uh, Shows here, like in the States It's it's You get like Because in the States it's just like they show you You get the artist, they make it through They get the next song, they perform They make it through, they don't But with shows like uh, like No Mercy and Win and stuff like that you get more like invested like emotionally with the members and things like that and I think it's kind of it's really dope I felt so bad for I am by the way. Oh, I felt so bad um, And I like that uh Juhan was it was uh, honest with him and like to an extent comforted him uh, While still not being like full-on like hey 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 we're here to help you everything whatever he kind of let him know exactly what's up, like why everybody felt a certain way. And I almost like, I understand, I feel the same way or whatever. But he was like talking about how he felt alone. And I would have hated to be in his shoes, bro. So I'm kind of glad that Ju Hunt took the time out to like talk to him and things like that. And be like straight up with him. And it's crazy how he came in so late and he outshined the other two. I don't know how many songs are in. I'm going to check right now, actually. This album, The Connect, has seven songs. So it's a mini album. Here's the thing, there's actually a lot of albums I need to catch up on, right? Like full-on albums, and this is why they finish. Oh my god, we gotta hit up Fighter now. We gotta hit up Fighter. Um, there's actually a lot of albums that I have to hit up. Like, I still have to check out the rest of Ilhun's um, mini-album. I have to check out uh, J-Hope's Hope World. Uh, uh, Wein from Mamamoo is dropping a solo album as well. And... This past week, I did the whole thing where I focused on groups that I didn't have either not heard a lot about or have checked out like one or less videos about from. And that I've decided to do these. I've decided to do these little themed weeks a little more often. And I think next week is gonna be a female group only week or a male group only week. I haven't decided which one I'm gonna do first, but that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm actually planning on checking out some of these full albums. Like on the same on the week that they like fall like relevant. So on the male group week, that's when I check out like the connect. Fortunately, I have a lot of Master X songs I've checked out that I can hold myself off with and sell them. I wish them all the luck in these next couple weeks because I learned yesterday that it's like about a two week period where you promote the album. So they got a, they probably got a bunch of shows they're about to do. So wish them all the luck and hope they enjoy, stay healthy, and all the good stuff. You know because when you put out good music and you put in like hard work and effort, it deserves to be recognized.